G'day folks, well for equipment autopsy, or slash inspection, tonight I have a MacTech drop saw, it's actually a chop saw for steel, you put an abrasive wheel on it instead of a circular saw blade. Um, this one was tossed out at work, it's probably only been used to cut steel maybe once or twice, everything else has just been PVC pipe. I work for a pool company, naturally we cut a lot of plastic pipe. So they use an abrasive saw for that. It goes through in about two seconds flat and it's the quickest, easiest way of doing it. As a result we wear out saws pretty quick. Um, this one here, apparently it was arcing and buzzing and stopped working. So I've blown all the dust and crap out of it and we'll plug it in and just give it a test. Missing the spindle nut and the vice assembly because we never use vices. For PVC, you just feed it through, bang, cut it, don't worry about the clamp. Um, I use them sometimes on steel if it's a little awkward bit, but to be honest I don't care. You don't really need them. Uh, yeah, there's a little burnt patch on the paint here where the sparks have hit it on this deflector, so it has been used for steel once or twice, but I mean, this thing's like new. It's a damn shame to throw it in the scrap bin. But we'll find out what's going on inside. I've got a feeling it's just brushes or something. The guy said they actually checked the brushes a while ago and they were fine, but it's still doing it. Um, I had a GMC angle grinder which was doing that too. It was because the brush springs were weak. And likewise, the commutator could also be a bit out of round and the brushes are bouncing off it. It might only be slightly out of round, but at whatever speed these motors do, like 12,000 RPM, the slightest overlization of the uh, commutator can result in the brushes bouncing off and losing contact with numerous bars and pulling very big sparks out of it. So let's plug it in and see what happens. Leave the camera there. Hot. Okay, that might be a bit more than just bouncing brushes. It smells like magic armature smoke. Let's pull the motor off and just see what's happening. I'm just about to hit, get hit by a fair sized storm, so I don't know whether I'll be able to finish the last part without yelling into the camera. It's a little bit loud out here. It's a damn shame, because it's such a new saw. I mean, Mac Tech is a Makita spin off, but just cheap and nasty made. It's made in China. I think a lot of Makita stuff's still made in China. But Mac Tech's a discount spin-off of Makita and people buy them thinking they're getting similar to Makita quality at half the price, but unfortunately this one here is only a few years old and it's already in the bin. Hell, I think they bought this just uh, even after I started they bought this saw, so it's not even a year old. I've only been with the company a year and a bit now, so that's how new this thing is. Still got all its paint. Uh, still everything else works fine. The gearbox is quiet. It's just this bloody motor. So I'll pull the motor off and have a look. Yeah, slowly getting it apart. The brushes show signs of arcing and burning and there's burnt spots on the commutator bars. I <laughs> just noticed this. That neutral wire has been pinched against that screw post. It hasn't severed it, but it's getting close. I wonder who did that. And guess I don't think this thing's been open since it left the factory. Uh, the guy who was playing with it just pulled the brushes out and said, oh yeah, they're alright, something inside's burnt out. So. More than likely, it hasn't left, the, or hasn't been opened since it left the factory. And now there's loose bits going everywhere. Oh, they've all got to come out anyway for cleaning and inspection. Not much to them. Pull that out, or replace that wire if I can, because it's a bit damaged. It's got an R, a little noise suppression bead on it, and that's about it. And a condenser across the switch. Oh, yeah, it is going across. Bit of dust in there, that's about it. Get this motor out. Okay, the rotor's looking a bit sad. It's got a burnt spot there and there. So it could be that one winding going through it that's shorted. 
uh, it's burnt into the insulation down there at the base of the comb bar and there's signs of them getting very hot. Uh, really need what really need a device called a growler to test this. Um, yeah, something must be short inside that rotor. Everything else is intact. But yeah. I know somebody has a, who has a growler, so I'll just send it off to him and get him to test it. Yeah, those wires coming up look a bit black too. There'll just be one winding inside that whole armature, but the whole thing's going to have to be chopped up and re rewound from scratch, which is a fairly expensive job. These saws are only three hundred dollars each, so spending two hundred dollars or more on winding one of these roaches is a bit much for a cheap saw. In which case, it just goes in the bin. Well, they did try at work. They did try to put a uh, three-phase AC motor on it and run it off a VFD to keep the noise down. Um, I don't know if they scrapped that project or not, but it'd be interesting to try it just with one of my little motors. Yeah, same deal. They just cut the rotor through there and punched the laminations and everything off, so they just left with this stubby shaft with splines on it. And all they did was machine a plate fit over here and attach the three-phase motor to it with this shaft grafted onto it but it never ran concentric enough to work properly. We couldn't machine that bushing concentric enough to actually not clash with the uh, other gear inside there. The, the spindle would have a little bit of run out. The, the uh, spline spindle or the helical spindle would have a bit of run out on it. Um, yeah, so that'll do that one. That's the autopsy. It's dead. Sort of. I'm not going to burn it out just yet. I'll find out whether uh, it's worth repairing that rotor. If not, we'll put it back together again, lock it up and hold the juice on. Or better yet, just put a microwave transformer across it. That'll be fun. Thanks for watching.